What's going on guys? Right now we are at Arrowhead Regional Medical Center. I'm actually here to visit Teta E, a really good friend of mine. A lot of you know her from videos last year that she appeared on. Recently, she just got into a really bad motorcycle accident. She doesn't remember how it happened or what happened, but she wasn't at fault. Somebody hit her at an intersection, but she just doesn't remember it. It's very unfortunate that these things happen. She broke a couple bones on her legs, but the good news is she will be able to walk and she's not going to be paralyzed and she's not in a coma. And the most important thing is that she's alive. Let's go see how she's doing. All right, where the heck is it? Where the heck is it? What? Set E. What's up? <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> so it's been it's been like five days, huh? Since five, you've been here. Five, about five days. Do you remember anything? I don't. I've I've been talking to this to certain people, and I cannot remember like the day I was hit. I cannot remember being on the floor, I, I don't remember anything. I, I'm assuming I had like a concussion. I'm gonna remember those things anymore. Right now, how do you how do you feel right now at this moment? At this moment, I'm not feeling as bad as I did Thursday, the weekend and all of that, but right. I've been feeling slightly better. Normally I wake up and I feel like dizzy and nauseous and my head hurts yeah. and I start throwing up and everything. But luckily I've Today that I woke up, I didn't feel as bad. So yeah, Sarah was like riding to work, and that's all she remembers. Like she blacked out. She doesn't know like what happened. All she knows is just like she ended up in the hospital, and you just like woke up here, huh? Woke up. It's like it makes me think about like movies. Like when oh my god, I don't remember nothing of what happened, and just wake up and it's like what the hell am I doing? What happened like to your body? Like so, as far as I've heard. I've been like half conscious when people talk to me like with drugs and stuff right. like the nurses or the doctor um, the first time I heard that there was five fractures on my right leg only oh yeah and then um, now for a fact I know that my femur I can also send you that picture oh dang my broke in half, so oh my gosh oh uh, it should be like this but it's like this yeah and then um, somehow I got a cut through my knee well Makes sense because I'm right. using right one hand. Still a couple of screws and, and like a like a metal plate to keep my femur into place. So as far as I know, it's my femur for sure, my knee, and there's something else broken um, closer to my foot, ankle, ankle, uh -huh. and then um, on my back. So yeah, so set a uh, surgery on your femur, huh? And the femur is up here. Yeah, femur is up here, and then like. Damn, it's crazy. Also, your uh, you said your pelvis. So yeah, my, my pelvis. Uh, the doctor said that there might be um, surgery done on my pelvis. Um, it hurts a lot as of now, but the doctor said that I might not need surgery depending right. on how my body heals on its own. If it's not healing on its own, then he's gonna go back in and do surgery. Said E, I have one question. Awesome. How does like how does the morphine feel? Oh my god. <laughs> It's like, it's hard to explain. Does it's it like, feel good though? It feels I, good. I never knew how that felt. I want to know. I've actually got injected um, the first time I was in my ex. Uh -huh. And I, you instantly, like it's weird, you instantly feel like cold all over your head. And oh it's like, gosh. you feel it going all over your body and then you just start like dozing off. What? But the only So you actually like, you instantly fall asleep? Yeah. Yeah, so as soon as like it'll make me sleepy and my eyes will start closing, but the only side effect is that when I wake wake up, I wake up like nauseous. Oh uh, yeah, that's yeah. So every time you're gonna be put under drugs, there's always a side effect. So it was funny. Me and Sarah we were just talking it that she's ready to start riding again. <laughs> she's she's like a true motorcyclist. Like she's and she was telling me about this a uh, brand new 600 that she wanted to get a Honda CBR. So. Let's just focus on your recovery, yeah, and um, I know everything will work out. Hey, do me a favor, make sure you show a lot of love on her Instagram right now. Go do it, link's right here. Go show her a lot of love, wish her uh, get better, feel better soon, whatever you want. She just needs all the love and support she can get right now. Yo, 
back at the house. Sutter E is a really good person. She's a really good friend of mine. And it's so unfortunate that she had to have a motorcycle crash. It wasn't her fault. She got hit in the intersection. It sucks because her motorcycle is her only transportation. She's a hardworking girl. She works two jobs. She's going to school. It's just so unfortunate that this accident had to happen to her, like out of all people, you know? And it's it sucks. And you know, she's struggling to pay bills already by you know working two jobs and going to school and and you know having her motorcycle as her only transportation i'm gonna say this she needs help especially she's not going to be able to walk for months she's not going to be able to work for months if anybody's willing to help out with set of ease situation in terms of just donating just one dollar or anything the links are in the description below. Click the link below, help her out only if you want to, or follow her on Instagram and you know show her love, show her the support that she needs right now. It's so unfortunate that it had to happen to her. We're all glad that she's alive and she's not paralyzed and she's gonna be able to walk, hoping her recovery goes really, really well. She has to go through rehab and whatnot. But when these type of things happen, it makes me realize how precious life really is. Um, you know, knowing the fact that Showtime went down on his motorcycle, said E went down on her motorcycle, you know, mutual friends that I know of, people going down on their motorcycle, people dying. Uh, it just makes me think sometimes like, man, do I want to continue riding? Do I want to continue doing this? I put my life in danger every day, hopping on that motorcycle and you know, I got family members and friends that care about me. One little screw up can mess up my life forever. I know a lot of people ride. I know a lot of people ride motorcycles and I ride motorcycles and I know I, I used to hate wearing gear, but it's very important that you wear your gear when you ride a motorcycle because like for instance, Seta E was wearing a jacket, a helmet, riding boots, and her head was protected. Good thing because she was knocked, un she was knocked unconscious. Like she was, she woke up in a hospital. So imagine she didn't have a helmet. She would probably be dead. Nothing happened to her up top here. She had a really good leather jacket. It just shows how important riding gear is if you do ride. I'll admit that I'm an idiot at times in terms of not wearing riding gear, but it's very, very important that you do. And to always, you know, when you hop on this motorcycle and when you ride your motorcycle to be very responsible, to be very cautious of your surroundings, just because you ride with some friends, let's say your homie loves riding fast or your other homie loves stunts, doesn't mean you have to be like them. Your life is more important, riding your own pace. It's way better safe than sorry. At the end of the day, it's your life you're putting at risk. It's just that simple. Lessen your chances of getting seriously injured or possibly dying by wearing your gear, wearing your helmet, being aware of your surroundings, being a defensive rider, not riding like an idiot, not going 130, 140 miles on the freeway, like unnecessarily, one little screw up could just end your life just like that. I don't know, man, it's just, you know, thoughts run through my head. Like they say, you know, with great power, which is a motorcycle, comes great responsibility. So be responsible on the bike. If you own one, or if you plan on owning one, or buying one in the future. Most important message I could give you is be responsible and wear your gear and ride at your own pace and be aware of your surroundings at all times, at all times. Showtime doing way better, who rides a motorcycle. I'm so grateful that he's okay. Seta E, she's on her way uh, and she's recovering. She's gonna start the rehab process. So she's on her way, hoping everything goes well. Life is too short, we all know that. And every day is not guaranteed, so remember, uh, Take this life a little serious.